Hi everyone, Agnes and it's viewer question time. It's from Rachel. Rachel, you have asked, I would love a video on how to meditate and get answers to questions like as a psychic in the future like predictions. Asking and knowing the answer. I hope this makes sense. Yes, it does make sense, Rachel. I used to do this a lot with a friend of mine. We used to meditate together and we would firstly just be sitting near each other on the couch. We would go into silent meditation and we would just, you know, do our own breathing in our own time. And then we would do our own thing. So I would often go through the body, sending love to the body with white light, sending it down different parts. If I had anything, you know, going on, I would send extra love to that area. And then I would focus on my heart. I would radiate love to my body. I would radiate love to myself. And then I would do any kind of imaginal scene. So maybe it would be focusing on more money or better health or it might be that I wasn't working so I was radiating love out to my new wonderful job. I would be imagining different things. And then after all that was done, all the visualizing, I would just take a breath, breathe in, breathe out, and just take a pause for a minute or two. And then I would go into asking questions. So we would often do asking questions for each other. And sometimes we would get weird and wonderful things. And other times we would ask questions for ourselves too. So we'd say, okay, please give me some guidance about this situation. And then you would sit in the quiet, in the calm and see if you would hear anything, see if you would see some images. And you would very often, from developing this skill over time, get some interesting bits and pieces. Now, I remember in one, there's one particular one that stands out out of all the times that we did this over the years. And uh, this is my friend that I do my three questions with, and I've known her for 30 years, and she's the one that bought me my first Law of Attraction book from Florence Scoville Shin, and then bought me The Law of the Promise from Neville. So we worked at this for quite some time. And there was one particular time where I can't remember if it was her that saw this for me or I saw this for her. I don't remember the details. But what I do remember was there was an image of um, Buckingham Palace, the gates, the guards at the front, you know, wearing their hat with that little thing that sits on their chin looking very stern and then I remember dressed in red and then I remember that the guard just fell to the ground and he was just laying there and I remember thinking that's very odd anyway we came out of meditation that day and we decided to try and decode this and the message that came out of it was it was either for her or for me, I can't remember, but it was let your guard down. And it was such an interesting message because when you first saw that image, there's no way I could have worked that out. But asking, what does that image mean? What does that mean? And who is it for? And it was very relevant to what one of us was going through at that time. So that's how you do it you just literally sit in quiet you I mean we went through levels of meditation we would sit there for quite some time and the final stage was asking for is there any messages for Agnes or is there any messages for and I would say my person's name my friend's name and sometimes we would get really interesting things sometimes we would get repeated things where we would see the same thing for this person over and over so it was like something they needed to work on and you know, I mean, the person would just hear it. And at the end of it, we would say, so did you, I got this message for you. Does that mean anything to you? And it was a really interesting exercise in getting more information and then decoding that information. Um, is it psychic? I wouldn't probably say it was psychic, but what I would say is it was definitely 
insightful, asking for more information, going within, and then you would use that information to help you with whatever situation you were going through. So I'm glad you asked this question, Rachel, because it's something I haven't done for a while um, with my friend because we're often in different countries. But when we do meditate again together because we are in the same city at the moment and she's only about a 10-minute drive away from me, I will bring up that we uh, should uh, have a little try of that again because it was really interesting and it is a fascinating way to decode your own stuff rather than asking someone else to help you and then you get their interpretation so it could be right it could not be you see but if something resonates with you if someone tells you something and you resonate with it then you're probably on track but yeah you've got to trust that feeling of resonating with something that's being said to you if it's coming from another person but if it's coming from yourself you can still ask for more information say okay in the next meditation, I got this last meditation. Can you help me decode it? What does it mean? You might again hear a voice. You might see an image. You might get bits and pieces. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. So it's a fun, fun thing to explore. All right. Well, I hope that helps. Lots of love. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Thank you, Rachel. Good question.